Hey guys, I have bad news. So they didn't allow me. Signal's not good. Lots of challenges. Maybe I should drop the plan to go to Saudi. Bahrain. I am going towards Saudi Arabia which in just about an hour I should be in this place called Dammam. I'm going obviously north because north is where the bridge is and this is a bridge on top of the ocean because Bahrain is an island and then you could just be in KSA that's what they call it here Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I got a car from uh, this company that I showed you, We Rental. And if I'm, I'm not able to go inside Saudi and then Kuwait or wherever else I want to go, then of course I'll just you know come back and uh, explore Bahrain and then be on my way on Wednesday back to London. Hello, how much? guys so we have passed the toll you can see this is the toll gate to get to the King Faisal Causeway woohoo so I found out that I need a letter to go to Saudi Arabia like a letter for the just the car I think everything else is good but just that letter looks like they're nice people now I'm going to the customs or you know the passport control then I will see what they want and then just I'll make sure that no other problem that I will run into by going through this area so I will keep you guys posted in my first attempt to get into Saudi by road I realized that I was missing a document from the rental car company that would be necessary for me to take the car outside of Bahrain. I went back to the airport where I had rented my car and got me another car from Hertz, paid an additional $10 to get that letter and headed back the next day. Guys, so I have quite a story here. So basically for a rental car to go inside, you have to have a proper insurance and proper paperwork and the paper needs to be stamped. Anyways, I returned back anyways because the paper wasn't there. When I arrived at the border crossing, I realized that I needed insurance paperwork and that's why I had to come back and visit several amazing places in this small island country I got a chance to see this beautiful mosque. And then I headed to the first oil rig of Bahrain. I enjoyed visiting this 400 year old tree that was standing tall in the middle of desert. I ended the day by visiting a nice beach during the sunset time. So I got the insurance here. Now my next step is to go through the passport, which is uh, right here. Hello, how are you? Thank you very much. Hello. Roger. Yes. Custom paper. Insurance. Custom paper. Sorry, they didn't give me, I just came from there. Uh, where where to get custom paper? Bahrain. Oh, they didn't give me. Custom paper car. Car? Yeah. Uh, this this. No no. I I go get it. Where are you going? Get it? Yes. Okay. Hi, how are you? Sorry, actually, I am going to Saudi, and I just came, and they stamped the passport. Now is how we get the custom papers because uh, last time I didn't have those custom papers, so I had to do a couple of rounds. It's a challenge. 
Oh, stem? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You have Bahrain? Uh, you yeah. have PCR? PCR, yes. He, he has the passport. I have bad news, so they didn't allow me because I need a PCR, even if I have. Uh, two doses and all that. It doesn't matter. I need a PCR test. It sucks. This time, when I tried to enter Saudi, even though now I had a document from the car rental company, I had the insurance that was only a couple of dollars per day, but I was missing that health stamp. This was given on seeing a negative PCR test. While I had that on me, I missed the validity by only a few hours. I need a PCR test, so they send back, so then I stop and then under the... Now you will go to Bahrain to do PCR? Yes. Okay, so no need to pay anything. Okay, thank you. The officials in the passport office were really nice and when they heard that I needed a PCR test and I wasn't able to cross over, it was already a couple of times, they gave me a nice hat. They showed me which line I could enter so I could get that PCR test at no cost and receive my results in the next 12 to 24 hours. I took this test and planned my visit back the next day. So now I'm finally making another trip to Saudi. So this is gonna be my fifth time trying to enter into Saudi and I'm uh, super excited. I think I have everything now, now that I got the PCR test done as well. So hopefully there shouldn't be anything that they would stop me for. And uh, yeah, just uh, looking forward to it. I've got all my documentation in place. Uh, we'll just uh, rock and roll now and uh, see hopefully that they allow me to get into Saudi and I'm gonna go to Damam maybe have a nice lunch over there and then just uh, hear what next rock and roll I went back to get my PCR test done because I didn't have the PCR. Um, I just want to go to the mom and then come back. So it's valid till like, uh, I have to make a new one. Okay. Guess what? I had to go back and get another insurance as that was already expired, at least according to them. I knew that I had only taken insurance for one day. I wanted to see if this would work because technically it was not yet one full day. I was anyways so used to going and coming back that I did not mind if I had to come back again. I had to get new insurance as you noticed, but uh, I got it and it worked. So now we are ready to go again. This is the passport control. Thank you very much. That was easy. This step is always easy and it seems like it's a big step, but it's really not. I have good news. So now everything's good. We have to go through the inspection now, finally. Then I will be able to go forward. I got the health stamp and uh, you take the vaccine, you take everything. And it seems like it's in order. The number of times I've already been doing this, it's crazy. Arvind, Sareen, I was born in uh, India. Yes, yes. Uh, no. Hey guys, so it didn't work. Looks like I had to make a payment and get the e visa for Saudi. I don't think it makes sense. So it looks like ultimately could not go to Saudi. <laughs> Tried it so many times. Going back to Bahrain. I don't know how many times I've tried to enter Saudi. It's just mind-boggling. So yeah, guys, it was quite an experience, wasn't it? Times I tried to go, but I couldn't. It, it's funny and crazy at the same time. I mean, I had a good uh, adventure. 
Hasta luego.